Hi everyone, welcome to Arcade Treasure Center. My name is Roy. Well, today's a really good day for two reasons. First one is, there's nothing like waking up in the morning, looking at your phone and seeing that you had 21 sales. And I was really ecstatic. And I pulled the pages so that way I know what orders to pull. But there's four pages right there and actually a clip off of a fifth one. So I've got 21 items to go pull and I'm really happy about that. Now, the second thing is I'm starting a little bit late. And the reason I'm starting a little bit late is because today is Kim's birthday. So be sure to say in the comments, happy birthday. She'd really appreciate it. Oh, she allowed me the time to be able to do this recording and go pull the items. So I'm going to do it as quick as I can. Normally, I walk around with the camera and I pull the items. So it kind of shows you a little bit about my eBay room and where the items are located throughout the eBay room. But today, I'm just going to go pull the items and I put a table down here. And I'm going to put the items on the table and then I'll discuss them and tell you all about them and tell you what they sold for. So let me go ahead and go get to all those items and I'll be right back with you and we'll discuss them. The first item that I sold was this silver cup box of chalk. Now, you know, I, I sell boxes of chalk. Uh, I was almost out of them. Then I came across another little bundle of about eight more. So I got them all listed up and there's some different colors. This one's called powdered blue. I don't know how well you're going to see that in the camera, how to color, because I did sell another box. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but this is called powder blue and it sold for seven dollars and 19 cents shipped this next item that sold was a really good thrift store find uh, i picked it up paid uh, about two dollars for it and it's an old vintage coin bank it used to be a novelty item that was given out when you open up a checking or savings account or at a bank uh, early probably around 1950s maybe even earlier 1940s and you put the little money right inside there and this little thing sold for 27 dollars and the buyer paid the shipping all right so i sold this lebron james funko pop uh, this was a really nice little deal i picked up 10 of them i'm almost out of them i think this is the seventh one that sold and he sold for eight dollars and 95 cents plus shipping so this next item that's going out is reliance canteen it's a one quart canteen with a strap it goes over your shoulder and actually, this used to be mine. We had two of them. Uh, I think I gave one away a long time ago. And this one was something I actually had. I've had it for probably oh, about 20 years. And it's something I used to have when I went hiking a lot. So I decided it's just sitting in a box. Sell it. If you got stuff sitting around, sell them. So I took it and listed it. Sold it for $8.99. And the buyer paid the shipping. All right. So if you're out, at, out looking around, this is some good stuff to find. This is from Bath and Body Works. The name of it's called Into the Night. Um, it's actually very fragrancy. It smells really good. But uh, this is a really good find. Uh, found this at a thrift shop, paid a dollar for it, and actually sold this with a discount to a, to a, to a buyer. They uh, gave me an offer and I accepted it. Sold it for $15.25, plus they paid shipping. So. Into the Night by Bath and Body Works is a real good find. In fact, I think it's on here I mean, somewhere. Right here. On the bottom, the original price for it was $14.50. Good deal. So I'm sure you can recognize what this is. This is just a Starbucks coffee mug. It's real plain. I picked it up for $0.99 cents at a thrift shop. Plain Starbucks coffee mugs, they don't sell for very high. You can list them. This one was actually listed for a little while. Um, it's another one I took an offer for I, and sold it. And it sold, what did I sell it for? It sold for $5.59 plus the buyer paid the shipping. So it didn't get a lot on it. But like I said, plain Starbucks coffee mugs don't usually sell. I usually try to hold on to them until I can find several that are the same style. If they're plain like this and they don't have any, a lot on it, I try to put them together so that way I can lot them, but I could not find another one that had this shape. I usually found more of the rounder ones. So I went ahead and sold that for $5.59 and the buyer paid the shipping. All right, so I got these and I know you can't see them because they're in a the bag. So I got a picture up here where you can see what they are, but they're a pair of knitted golf club covers. Now these are vintage. They actually came knitted like this. They got pom poms on top. This is number one and three. A lot of times you'll find ones together like one, three, and five. 
and they sell for really good money. If you can find one, three, and five, you usually can get, uh, I'm going to say, $22 to $29, $30 for them. Um, and that's including shipping. So I sold these for $13.45 shipped. And like I said, I probably got $0.50 cents into these. So I got another Funko Pop going out. Uh, this one is probably number eight out of number 10 that I had. Um, he sold for $8.95 just like the other one. And I've already got him in a Funko Pop protector. So he's ready to ship out. But that was a good find when I when I came across these. About 10 of them. Uh, and they're slowly moving out, but they're moving out. All right, so these were a really, really good find. Um, got these, uh, I think, from a garage sale. So I don't think I got maybe a, about a quarter of a piece into them. And they were really good. There's three of them in here. And these are jumbo blanket storage bags. So you can store your blankets, sheets, quilts, comforters, clothes, store them on your bed, your closet, wherever. It keeps the dust off of them. Uh, these are actually made from the home store. Really nice. I sold these for $17.99 and the buyer paid the shipping. So these kind of things are good bolo items to look out for too whenever you're at uh, garage sales, thrift stores, or wherever. Jumbo size storage bags, brand new, sealed. Good sales. I uh, sold another garden net. You see the, uh, the original price on there was like $12.00. Marked down to eight dollars. There's no sticker mark down to two dollars. When I got them, they were just marking them down for a dollar. You've seen these in my videos. I've talked about them before. Really good find. Picked them up for a dollar a piece. This sold for twelve dollars and ninety-five cents shipped. So I got these items. All three of these. They are retail arbitrage items. Now let me set these two down real quick. So like I said, they are retail arbitrage items. I paid four dollars a piece for these. Um, I just got them. Uh, just probably maybe four days ago so i went ahead and listed them and each one of these sold for 19 dollars 99 shipped uh so after shipping and original cost plus fees i'll make i'll probably make about seven dollars off of them so this next item that i have going out which i'm not gonna make any money on because i didn't pay attention to the ebay app when i uploaded it this was a pop rivet gun actually this is one that i had i sold one a couple of few weeks ago i had several of these i picked up over time you just naturally pick up things and i had several pop rivet guns when i went through my toolbox was cleaning it out and this was one that i had so i went ahead and listed this is a master mechanic pop rivet gun and it sold for ten dollars and eighty cents free shipping um i think it's gonna go out <laughs> They might kill me, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get this out uh, at first class. I, it's going to be close. Either way, I'm after fees and everything, I'm not making anything. Make sure that you, when you list items, if you need to put down, mark the buyer as paid shipping or free shipping, and you're getting your money out of it. So I'm not going to talk about it yet, but I sold another garden net, so $12.95. So this is a Dr. Seuss Snitches I picked up. Uh, got a quarter into it. It sold for $9.56 shipped. Doesn't weigh anything. So I've got a quarter into it, three or four dollars to ship it out. So I'll, I'll make a couple dollars off of them. Not bad. All right, so I sold my last two garden nets and I will talk about these. These were a viewer sale. They're going out to Charlotte. Charlotte, I really appreciate your support. Thank you for the purchase. In fact, Charlotte, I want you to know that Charlotte asked me if I had any more. And when I looked at my listing, uh, it said zero. And I really had four more left. When I originally put these up, I counted them. I counted them fast and knew I had about 40 of them. So uh, I knew I was over 40 by a little bit. When I counted 40, I just stopped and did a listing at 40. Plus, in case I had any problems or I want to keep some for myself. Because my wife, Kim, does have a garden. Anyway. Uh, we ended up did keeping some for ourselves, but when Charlotte asked, she said, if we did any more, I looked it up. I had four more. You saw I sold the other two. And I'm sorry, Charlotte, you said you were buying these for your husband, for his garden, to keep the dogs out. Uh, so you already know what the price is. But thank you very much, Charlotte. I really appreciate it. I appreciate the purchase and the support. Thank you much, so much for the sale. So uh, it's long past Halloween or long before Halloween, but we sold this. So, uh, Halloween little porcelain house and actually it's a lighted it comes with a light so you put the light in and it lights up 
gives you that ghoulie experience, I guess, through the lights. Anyway, this one actually had a problem. Uh, right here, it's supposed to have a ghost sticking up, and the ghost is broke off. I put that in the listing. Originally, I had this, I had this listing, or I was going to list this at like $19.99 plus shipping, but saw that it had a problem. So I lowered the price and decided, you know, instead of just donating it or to give it away or getting rid of it, so it sold at $7.99. And yes, I did disclose this and took pictures of the area where the ghost was supposed to be at, but took this, sold it for $7.99 and the buyer paid the shipping. So these are the next items going out. It's a set or a pair of Jillian Michaels DVD workouts. This one is the Killer Cardio. And this one is the Lift and Shred. And they're pretty good. They're actually a retail arbitrage item that I picked up. I uh, picked them up for a dollar a piece. Lied them together. And I really thought I was going to sell them a little bit faster than what I'm selling them. This is only my second set that I've sold. Uh, I've got about seven more sets, I think. Five or six, five, six, seven more sets. I can't remember. Anyway, sold these together as a set for $11.69 shipped, and they'll go out media mail. So I don't know if I got the camera set back up right or not. Right in the middle of my last sales pitch, the camera died. So what I was getting ready to tell you all about was my last item that sold was just like my first item that sold. It's another box of billiard chalk. These are actually navy color. The other ones were powder blue. So... These sold for $7.19 shipped. Don't have hardly anything into them. They were a retail arbitrage item, which I've said in my and some of my videos in the past. So if you're a newer subscriber or newer viewer, you didn't know. But in my older videos, I, I used to talk about these when I'd sell them. And they were a, what I call eBay arbitrage item, where a person was selling them on eBay. I bought 70 boxes of them for, for uh, I think it was... $49.99 and that was including the shipping so that was a good buy now these don't sell for a lot uh, other ones that I have sold sold pretty good but like I said these sold for $7.19 and I put it out and that's okay I only make probably about maybe a dollar fifty to a dollar seventy five off of each box that I sold but I figure I only got maybe 49 cents into each box so after fees, after everything, I'm still going to make over $120 on them. So it's a little tiny sale, just something to put out, but I'm happy for them. So I thought I was done, but I looked at the table and realized I missed and forgot to talk about one item. And it's a bag of Tupperware spice containers. These were a bag of spice containers that Kim found. Uh, paid $1.98 for it, and they sold for $15.29, plus the buyer paid the shipping. And they're all different sizes, and they're all brown top except for one has a blue top. So that was a good little find. If you see old vintage Tupperware, it's really nice, uh, good condition, and it's unique, unique style or something different, it sells for really good money. So if you're a reseller, I uh, hope you saw some items that would really benefit you, that give you some thoughts to go look for when you're outsourcing. And if you're not a reseller and you're thinking about it, hey, now's the time to go do it. Get yourself on eBay. Uh, Amazon, Poshmark, Macari, any place. Just now's the time. Jump on the bandwagon and start selling. Make that extra money. Because with like everything going on in the world, you don't know if you're going to have a job or not. And one thing I can say that I'm happy for is I'm here at home and I have a job at home. So all this together, all these sales right here were a $348.53 sale. So that's really good. Now after fees and everything, it's going to be a little bit less. But still, overall, that's a really good sales weekend. I'm really happy about it. And all the resellers out there, find it, sell it, profit. To all the viewers, subscribers, and everybody else, hey, thanks for watching. I hope you had a great time. I hope you learned some stuff. Uh, be safe. Be kind to one another. And have a great day. Bye-bye.